<laughs> you feel me? I'll go ahead and cook, bro. I want to cook today, man. Here we go. I got to do it again, man. So what happened? Two weeks in a row. Oh, man. Ooh. The audacity of these niggas, man. Mm. I don't know if it's something in the air. You feel me? So I'm just going to do this today and put rumors to rest and, you know what I'm saying, leave shit alone. Feel me? Right after that. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ty here with another. Ep Let me fix my camera right quick. All right, there we go. It's your boy Ty here with another episode of Contentious Conversations. As you can see from the pre roll, AD is back at it. Adam 22, like I said before, he's going on a rampage right now. Right now, he's going crazy. He's talking spicy. So, AD, uh, he got Duno on. He's got uh, Ace Boy Pun and some other fellas and a young lady on, and they are about to discuss Adam 22 once again, talking about, you know, their money, all this stuff, and having this guy Snoopy Badass. All right. The guy who he, whenever AD says who he should not be named or he doesn't want to say that guy's name, he's talking about Snoopy Badass. All right. Let's dive right in. <laughs> so that nigga Adam goes to bootleg camp today. Today? Well, whenever the episode came out today, it was a lot of stuff that he said. You feel me today? So I just want to break down everything, the rumors and all type of stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? For one, I was not mad that that other guy got an interview. Not at all. Not mad at all. I am free game, just like everybody else is. On the internet, you know what I'm saying? People was uh trying to make it seem like we was starting stuff last week and doing everything like that. So I just want to let the record reflect. You know what I'm saying? Who got an interview? The the, the one guy. Oh, He's the one talking that about Snoop motherfuckers Snoop names. Snoop no, no, we're not about, no, 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 we ain't saying his name about no more. Snoopy that's on the platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So hey, when he got, oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. So when he got the uh, interview, he can't keep it. That's the one that said that all our brands look the same. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. guy. Oh, he did that say guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't gonna say his name. Right. Um, yeah, Adam. yeah, yeah. Ferrari so, shit is crazy. Oh, Moreno Valley. <laughs> I did okay. mention when, Ferrari when, suit, when the Ferrari right? Like, why does he look like a Ferrari threw up? <laughs> like, that's one thing I definitely mentioned. Was like, yo, why are you dressed like that? Like, <laughs> you dressed like you should be on like a Forza or <laughs> some shit. You know? Was saying <laughs> when the stuff was said there, I don't care about none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm minding my business. And I got to bring this up and I got to let the people see. You know what I'm saying? Let me go to Nerd the page alert. so we can cuss. Nerd alert. Nerd alert. So, this is what I see. First thing I see, I come to the page. It says, this guy goes in on AD and WAC 100. You feel me? With a picture of me right there. Cool. Then I see this clip right here. That guy, Brick Baby, and Adam diss the old no jumper host. You know what I'm saying? With oh, all, okay. with, all, with all of our picture on there. I'm on there. Yeah, you on there. Nah, I don't I'm be paying there. attention to that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm seeing that. The only thing that I had a problem with is when he started talking about the money issue. You feel what I'm saying? But scratch all that. You know what I'm saying? I just want to let everybody know what happens when it comes down to the no jumper situation. Today, Adam went on there and basically said, we don't make 75% of what we've made at no jumper right now. He knows for a fact mm. all of this stuff that he said. It's a lot of stuff. So today, I just said, fuck it. I want to cook today. Okay. I just want to cook today. I want to show niggas, man, what I'm talking about. Are you showing your invoices? I'm just just show. I'm just gonna show you something. I want. I want the people to see this, bro. You don't. Okay. Let's break this down. See, this is the problem. This is what I was paid, and I was one of the uh, top paid people over there. Damn. This is what I was. Paid. Oh my God! Ad just pulled up receipts. He's pulling up receipts. He's pulling up receipts from the No Jumper era. Whoa! Ad is about to go to war with Adam, and I think we just see. 
we're seeing the opening shot the issue right now that you're having is that well ad has kind of been protecting adam from what i've heard whack hunters whack 100 say every time somebody brings up an issue right because if you know like ad is affiliate right let's just put it that way right and a lot of people on his side have been saying hey what's up with adam da, 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 da. you know they know the beef or whatever do you want us essentially to go touch him up and ad essentially has been like no like that's not even a thing like i would ever consider like that you know that's the but like i said that's the kind of ad person ad is right but when you like an adam 22 start poking him start bringing people on to disrespect your you know like the man ain't said nothing really like i did i did see one like one one thing where he was on gta rp where he was playing as adam that might have been like pseudo disrespectful but like you could tell it wasn't like it was kind of meant to be funny right rather than what adam's doing which is like taking personal jabs taking jabs at his finance situation and like nigga if you wanted him back that bad bro offer him more money like bro leave this man like okay my problem is just leave this man alone bro like let me go full screen before this man goes just just like there's like adam's sounds and feels like a bitter ex right in the sense that like bro he misses ad what he, what i don't think people realize is how much adam cared for ad and his departure meant to adam and adam is trying not to show it right so what he's going to do is lash out in different ways right like i can't have you so like i'm a we gonna talk one way or the other like I, we're, we're, we're gonna have to talk about each other so he's doing little little slight like sleight of hand things like to try to get ad's attention because what happened is ad kind of was just like ad's one of those people where it's like whenever he's when, if he's done with you like he seems like one of those people like if he's done with you like he's just like all right we're not anything right like we're not friends we're not enemies we're just nothing like and that has to be killing adam because that was like his homeboy homeboy like is like i was like his like right hand man for a long time like he had stopped a lot of ass whoopings from coming at him 22's way let's be honest like i've seen it like milk 74 showed up pulling up for a fade like there's been many times where he's been in a hood and somebody like trying to fade up adam 22 and ad's like nah we're not here for that right now that adam didn't come here for that da, 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 da. and like somebody's trying to do that like while he's like so like their friendship had to have been real to us like he was going to be like one of his like best men or like one of his groomsmen at his wedding or something right like the friendship that they had built was real so their breakup was even though for everybody else like adam uh, adam 22 probably didn't like everybody else as much as he like had a relationship with ad because he probably didn't go through as much shit with them you know like there's some people in life that like you've gone through things with together right you everybody has those people where like no matter what bro like no matter what where you are in life like you can always link up right and because you had that moment together a lot of military people have this i've never been in the military or anything like that never ever but like a lot of people military people have that bond where like you in the military like it's that's just it like we've been through something together especially if you serve together or you went through like a campaign and you know they those people are like family to them right like because they went through something together and when you build those kind of bonds with other human beings bro it's hard to shake so adam's hurt right now he's big hurt he's big hurt big man and he's trying to get his friend back and he's doing it in the stupidest way he's trying to get his friend to talk to him but his friend doesn't want to talk to him so now all right we finna crash out on each other like i'm gonna talk bad about you until you notice me like kind of deal like bro it's so transparent it's so sad and it's not even gonna get ad to come back to no jumper like the best you could have done is like have like a thing where like you could have had them not under no jumper, but like partnered with them so like it's not like you're losing your best friend and the company and everything like you could have had it your cake and ate it too but you did it in the shadiest way that like nobody wanted to fuck with you after that you know so like kind of adam 22's fault once again like these are things that he did to himself like like just how like 
it sucks because it's like you're watching him it's communication issues like a lot of the issues that you see in these situations is communication like they don't talk properly to each other they don't talk to each other like in the proper way they don't show each other respect when they need to show each other respect so you don't know like it's just it's it's a shit show but let's get back to it pay that no jumper well, yeah, every, every, every two up. weeks, you feel me? Every other mm, week, mm, 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 just mm. so we can get stuff into a context. I want everybody to, okay. you know what I'm saying, right. to look oh, at that. Oh, then what are you looking at? You cooking. I'm just, I, I just want to let people cooking. know. Cooking. Every two weeks? He cooking with this grease, is what hot grease. I was getting paid grease. every two weeks. You feel me? He cooking with hot grease, y'all. Just so everybody can see. Mm. Hey, I was going to pay more than you. No, I'm just kidding. Hey. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, listen. On top of that, on top of that, and this is... Before taxes, on top of that, at the end of the month, I would give them an invoice that'd go from fifteen hundred to maybe on a good month, was which was rarely like three, five bands. No, three thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? So for the most part, me at being one of the top guys, all I got at the end of the month was maybe six thousand on a good month. No bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? If you think that is uh more than what. The fuck we doing now? You were out your goddamn mind, my nigga. A hundred percent. You feel me? And on top of that, you said something about bad management and shit like that, too. Pun only came in the picture to make sure that we wasn't getting taken advantage, taken advantage of off of account of me. Leave me out of this shit. I'm just keeping it real. I gotta, I gotta say my piece. I'll slap the shot, down. nigga. Leave me out of this shit. Hey, I'm gonna say what I gotta say, Pun. I'm gonna say Leave what I gotta say. It. Now, my worst month on community is still more than what I ever got paid in No Jumper, and that's 100% facts. That's with no sponsors. That's with, with nothing. Hey, big ups to community, man. Big ups to y'all for that, bro. No sponsors doing it just raw like that. Hey, man, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? That's just strictly... What it is, and the only time that we probably took a dip in any type of views is when I went to DR for two weeks, and that shit went right back up. Now, like I was saying before, Pun don't want me to say his name, I'm gonna say Pun's name. Pun tried to be cool, he tried to be fair, he made sure that, you know what I'm saying, we was doing business correctly. The only extra thing that we got when it came down to No Jumper was the food show, which I was told that wasn't gonna work to begin with. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get paid for the food show for a minute. Me and Pun decided and told them. They said that they didn't know what they could pay us because they didn't know what it was going to do. You feel me? Pun told them, we're going to give you guys four episodes. After that, we can discuss and give us an offer to what it is that we can get paid. You know what I'm saying? So the whole time to, to, to act like it was just crazy money and it was this and doing that, like... That's 100% cap. We're not even tripping when it comes down to that. So I just want to let everybody know and see whatever the situation is. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, clear and on terms of everything else, you gave me a challenge. You said, let's get views without uh, discussing your name. I got a challenge for you. Let's see you get a million views without exploiting street culture or beef. Ooh. We can both give each other challenges. You or feel what wife. I'm saying? Or your wife's vagina. Hey. Whatever it is. Oh, <laughs> and on some real shit, man, listen. Oh, haymakers left and right. I don't know what I'm... Is this a UFC fight or a podcast war? What is going on? Yikes. Can we... Can we... Re can the DJ play that? My man got the... Oh, it was like a few seconds of haymakers there. Challenge. Oof. You said, let's get views without... a. Uh, Discussing your name, I got a challenge for you. Let's see you get a million views without exploiting street culture or beef. Bars. We can both give each other challenges. You or feel what I'm wife. saying? Or your wife's vagina. Hey, Bars. whatever it is. Oh, <laughs> and on some real shit, man, listen. We're comparing a company that's on year eight to some young niggas that's out here on year one. Bars. You feel me? Bars. Barely, we shouldn't even be in the conversation when it comes down to competition or anything. Just because you got 50 million views or you think you got more money than us, that don't make, make you better than us in any type of way, shape, or form. Yeah. You sound like the same people that we've been going against our whole life. 
Mm. A privileged white nigga that think he better than niggas. You feel me? Mm. Oh. Okay. Mm. Hey. I, I mean, so I ain't got to sit here and threaten you and do all that extra shit because that's what your kind want. You want us to do everything like that? Yep. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But yep. if we speaking to the facts, I'm being transparent. I can show everything. I can talk about everything. AD. Spying AD. I like this AD. This is, I'm tired of getting pushed around AD. This is A. Stop, stop playing with my name, AD. We like this AD. Bring more of this AD out. Like the regular AD is cool because he's nice. He's a jolly giant, right? Like, yo, that dude's cool. But this AD, hey, we can get behind this guy. So it is what it is. You feel me? Hey. Damn, that was emotional, man. That was real. That was <laughs> I had to keep it real. You that feel was me? That's probably the only comment I did I like. Come on, of, man. Cause I, I think out of all of us, I'd be like the most quiet about shit. Cause honestly, I don't give a fuck. I'm not arguing with somebody that's 15 years older than me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm 23, just living life, traveling, filming movies. Duno's 23 years old. Dude, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta change your habits, bro. Eating habits have to change. Bro, you do not look a day over 40, under 45, my guy. Bro, you got to You got to change something, bro. That's crazy. He's 23 years old? I thought he was older than me. Yo, do I look older than Duno? I just... Flabbergasted. Hey, I mean, I'm collecting... X amount of checks for doing what I love to do. Do no, yes or no? Are you getting paid more than you was when you was getting a, a no jumper? Man, if I didn't need, no, man, if I didn't need Power 106, I didn't need no jumper, and that was a, and that was a six figure deal that I left because I could do it on my own. And mind you, that was my shit before taxes. Taxes got taken out too. You know what I'm saying? And, I was and, keeping it cool, like, look, I'm getting paid this, I'm getting paid this, I'm trying to make, you know what I'm saying, make shit shit. And I was one of the highest paid niggas over there, hundred percent. Living in L.A., bro. But, exactly. you think uh, but he said that he knows for a fact that, that we're not making the money that we was making over there. If you don't think we making $6,000 a month, you crazy. <laughs> we got, first of all, a shout out to our sponsors that we got right now anyway. We got Hidden Hills Club, use our code community. EPTM, use our code community 15. Mr. Mushies, use our code community. Delta Munchies, you feel me? Community 20, legal cannabis shipped straight to your door, 20% off, use our code. You know what I'm saying? We got that all over the place over here. Where's my double doinks at, man? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Delta Munchies and Big Chief. Shout out Chief. to Delta Munchies, And we man. got some uh, new sponsors and stuff, too. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just want to let be transparent with the people and let them know what one of their top people was getting paid. So if AD was getting paid that as a top, what you think everybody else is getting paid? Oh, yeah, by the way, Smack only got one payment while he was at No Jumper. How much was it? And I think T-Rail had to wait five to six months before he ever got a check for No Jumper. Damn, I so got what, it. So what is we talking about? This is my thing, though, like... <laughs> what is we talking about? I, I was always hey. confused about, like, our payment shit, but, I mean, I got paid. Dirty laundry getting aired out. Somebody finna dry somebody panties in the yard right now. These, these, this is somebody throwing underwear onto the pole, telephone pole right now. This is what's going on. We are, wow, this is crazy. Wow, we just learned a, a lot about the internal structure of the No Jumper cast and the No Jumper financial structure, which is not very good. The thing is, I don't know how they haven't gotten sued for like labor uh, violations and things like that. Like, there's no way anybody waits five months for a paycheck. That has to be illegal. You can't be on on air talent for the entire time that you're on Adam's show and not only earn one paycheck if the guy is model the thing is what what's happened is there's no rules right now right like we're technically in the wild wild west of the the digital television and streaming age right this is still the wild wild west there really aren't any laws in place for those kind of workplaces because it's like how do you, how does the government say me and my homie started, a, like, we're just shooting ourselves and putting it on YouTube, something unregulated by the government? How do you regulate that as a business? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's kind of interesting that 
the the laws haven't caught up to where we are because things like that are, are going to happen all the time where everybody starts off you know everybody is because of how easy it is to start a podcast you can get a cast and not pay them and have these people working for free essentially this is it's such a weird gray area right now that i think that um we're gonna have to address in the future somehow but let's get back into it the first time i thought was there <laughs> but, you, but you gotta like you gotta like nip it in the butt fast right like boy, what do you think like i feel like you gotta pin like when we went in there i told kelly like hey bro you gotta let him know he like you know what i'm saying at first it was like a little wobbly like you know mm-hmm. but i think we were all just taking it you know it was an opportunity for me. We're right there now you know what i'm saying but, now let me tell you this and people be like oh pun I've been tripping and pun ain't never tripped pun from day one just wanted to do good business and i'll give you an example prime example we um had a discussion with them oh yeah let me keep it gangster nobody got a motherfucking payment for an ad before i came to the table house phone ain't never got an ad payment until I came to the table. That's 100% facts. And let's keep it real too. They told me, hey, me and Pun, we give y'all 25% of any ads that y'all that y'all bring through to the table. You feel me? I had Big Chief bring them $25,000. Oh, you going there. For one month. Oh, you going everywhere. I'm just keeping it honey. I'm being transparent to people. You going everywhere. 25,000 for the month. They offered me 2,500. We said, well, hey, well, y'all told us we get 25% of anything we bring to the table. They didn't want to do it. We went back and forth, and they was like, all right, we're going to agree to 5000 one time. I just want to be transparent with the people. After that, that kind of left a bad taste in niggas' mouths when it came down to business and shit like that. And from day one, all niggas wanted to do, pun coming there and have meetings and say, hey, how can we grow with the company? How can we uh, help each other become bigger and shit like that as well, too? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of, it's a lot of instances of shit like that. But I just wanted to cook and let the people know real quick. Ain't nothing too crazy when it comes down to it. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When shit fall apart, everybody want to talk about the bad and the ugly. Yeah. But they don't want to talk about the positive parts of what happened when y'all was together and all that. You know what I'm I saying? Mean, at the end of the day, all y'all niggas hoes. <laughs> <laughs> look, AD, look. Y'all just proving what I've been saying the whole fucking time we've been I mean, on community. That's all. Okay, you need a pun. You definitely need an ace boy pun, right? You can tell he's low key. I don't want to say the brains, but he's low key, like the brains of the operation in the sense that whenever Adam was bringing up anything or was trying to say anything or like, hey, let's do it on the buddy buddy system, he was like, nah, let's get it on contract. Let's do this, let's do that. And that makes sense, right? Like, that makes sense if they're bringing something that much to the table. For people who don't bring anything to the table, that doesn't it doesn't make any sense, right? Like I wouldn't expect um, like a smack or somebody like that to ask for like revenue share. That doesn't make any sense. You didn't build the No Jumper brand the way that AD or House Phone, right, or T Rail, or even Duno did, right? You didn't you you weren't pivotal in that era of the No Jumper uh, podcast that kind of brought in a lot of that talent, right? Because of their street cred, because of the music that they had already met, made, right? Like, Adam doesn't understand what he had. Like, because of greed, right? Because of corporate greed, he lost something that he should have kept um, in-house, right? Think about it this way. Duno worked a radio station 109 point so if you let do no work there you give him a decent contract you keep him on right you literally have an access to every rapper that comes through his radio station off top he's not just like a he's a, he's like an announcer he's like a, a personality on there so he has his own slot he had his own slot right you didn't you it's it's almost business malfeasance, right? Think about that connection. You didn't cultivate that. That's stupid. AD literally has a connection with every, almost every rapper on the West Coast, right? Well liked by every every side, every faction is good pretty much everywhere, right? Boom. That that gives you credibility. That brings you street credit. T-Rail, same thing, right? 
toured fashion designer, did a bunch of stuff with um, Tyga. To like, so these people, you brought people who were plugged in, like plugged in, plugged into the industry. They didn't understand their value, which I think was the problem. And the only person that really probably saw it was Pun, who was probably like, yo, y'all crazy. Y'all like, niggas stupid. Like, don't, don't just let, don't just be giving this guy your likeness and da 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 da. But like, they're thinking, Adam's going to do the right thing. Adam's just going to, he's going to do the right by us. Nobody's going to do right by you. That's not their job. I don't know how to tell you people this, but um, it's not anybody's job to do right by you. It's your job to figure out what's the fair compensation and then demand that. And if they're not willing to do that, if you're willing to walk, walk. If you're not willing to walk, then shut up and accept the pay as it is, right? That's my philosophy. If you're going to walk, walk away with your held, held, he head held high, right? Don't take whatever, you know, if that's not the contract you want to take, then don't take it. But don't complain about it, right? Because that's how negotiations work. You offer something, I offer something. Then you offer something in, I offer something. If it's good, we go. If it's not, we part ways. That's business. People get too personal when it comes to stuff like that, right? So, yeah, I think this is, um, this is quite interesting. This real shit, Kumbaya squad. You know what hey. I mean? So it's all good, but nah, fuck all that. You ain't got to go on all them details. I'm just, I just, just want to be transparent with the people. Since they know. about money. And, niggas know. And everything like that. You the know people, what I'm saying? people know, bro. They know. Yeah. They know the deal. Bro, he acts just like his predecessor, bro. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> That's why. Kick crazy. that knowledge, my brother. <laughs> hey, kicking that. Yeah, just like kick his predecessor. Kicking that knowledge. Kicking that yeah, knowledge. That was what they got learned. I had, to, I, had to, I had to let it see. Predecessor is a colonizer <laughs> that came before him. The same genre. Same moves. Ooh. Same same motives. He came same with that interview. He came with that do rag today. Eating. Eating off of us. <laughs> Eating off the backs. He didn't like you, yeah. Uh -huh. Eating off the backs of blacks. <laughs> oh man. The predecessor. We'll oh, talk about man. that later. Eating off the backs of blacks. Raheem is cooking right now. You okay. feel me? You're going somewhere with this, brother. Yeah, You're going man. somewhere with this. No, but I just, you know, I just wanted to be transparent to people. Based and that's my response. And I'm gonna say this. Anytime that you say something about us. We gonna respond back and make content out of it. You feel me? Every time you say our name, I'm gonna make content out of your shit. I'm it not. is what it is. Fair. <laughs> like, I'm, not. I'm not. I'm gonna make content out of it. I don't care. We're gonna make content in person. <laughs> <laughs> On the alive homies. Okay, so this is my this, uh, this is this is my scenario, right? Mm -hmm. We're eating somewhere in the valley, mm -hmm. and then Adam walks in and Trey. Is there with us? Are we calming Trey down? Y'all better not. That's what we're not doing. Okay, okay, but, but <laughs> let me but do me. But but let's let's suggest we're like at a nice restaurant in the valley. Are we letting Trey beat his ass in the nice restaurant? Nigga, what? Tables and chairs getting flipped. <laughs> it's gonna look like a WWE <laughs> match in that motherfucker. <laughs> this shit WWE, so we might oh, as well take that it. That shit would be hilarious. Yeah. But also, we gotta think like we are members of the society now. We gotta think. Are we letting Trey go to jail if they recognize him? Nigga, you've always been a member of society. Just because you were a hoodlum doesn't make you not a member of society, doofus. <laughs> I guess we're a member of society now. Yeah, just because you got money doesn't not make, like, poor people go to jail all the time. They're part of society. That's that's a thing. Like, that's the problem. Like, <laughs> just because you have something to lose doesn't make you automatically a part of society. You've always been a part of society. You just didn't have what it took to fight whatever society could throw at you. That's the only difference. <laughs> so I'm saying we gotta like, think smart. Should we, do we wait by the car? You know what I'm saying? We don't worry about all that later. Yeah, we don't worry about all that later. <laughs> also, we'll, we'll, yeah. also, we'll cross the bridge after the videos exactly. come out. Exactly. Okay, I like exactly. that. <laughs> exactly. We we'll don't worry about that later. Yeah, we we'll worry about that later. Yeah, obviously they're joking. They're never, they would never even, I don't think they would ever fight at all or anything like that just because it's not worth it and i think at this point they're making too much money on both sides to like go to jail for something that's stupid so i think it's interesting um i like that ad fought back i think it's time for ad to fight back sometimes in life man like bullies keep punching you sometimes the only alternative is to punch them back like it's um it sucks that that's the world but sometimes you just got to say no to the bullying and that help hopefully it stops 
But as long as Adam keeps making contact, AD's going to keep responding. That's his response. So, in conclusion, I hope these gentlemen get to sit down somewhere and just watch this. And because I know Adam just really misses AD. Like, that's really the, the crux of the matter is Adam misses AD. All right, guys. It's your boy Ty, Contentious Conversations. And I will see you all later.